Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solutions tutorial video. This video will guide you how to create a hotel reservation form using UX masked input, UX date time picker, UX list box, UX numeric up down, and UX radio button. This tutorial video will be divided into two parts. The first part describes how to create the layout of hotel reservation sample and the model. The second part describes how to make the view model, and how to bind them to the controls. First, create a new project, using Intersoft Client UI MVVM Application Project Template. This project template, is already included with a blank XAML page, named Main Page XAML. You will use main page XAML to create the user interface layout. Open main page XAML. Add a UX stack panel to the page. Reset the layout to all. Then, to arrange the controls in the panel vertically, set the orientation to vertical. After that, add a text block to the UX stack panel. Set the text to Hotel Reservation. Then, change the font size. Next, add a field label. By default, a field label will contain a header field and UX text box. Change the header to guest name. Then, set the header width. In this sample, all the header width is set to 120. Click on the UX text box to set the width. The set width is 220. Perform the same steps to add email field. Next, add a field label for a phone field. After that, set the width of the header. Then, replace UX text box with UX masked input. UX masked input is a control which is used for pattern data input, such as phone number. You can specify the pattern using edit mask property. In this sample, specify a phone number pattern as the edit mask. Then, Set the width of the UX masked input. Next, add a field label for date. Set the header width. Replace the UX text box with UX stack panel that will contain two UX date time pickers. After that, set the height to auto. Then, add another field label into the UX stack panel. Set the header text to from. Replace the UX text box with UX date time picker. Add a field into the UX stack panel. UX date time picker includes a host of configuration, allowing you to flexibly customize the mode of the date time picker. For instance, showing both calendar and clock, calendar only, or clock only.
Next, add a field label for room type. Set the header width. Then, replace the UX text box with UX list box. Delete the UX list box items, because UX list box will be bound to an item's source. Then, Set the height and width of the UX list box. To display text and image in each list box item, set the item content type property to content and image. Set the item image heights. After that, set the item image stretch to fill. Then, set the item image width. To display image before text, set the text image relation property to image before text. Next, add a field label for number of room and set the width. Replace the UX text box with UX numeric up down. UX numeric up down provides an easy numeric input with up down spin buttons. After that, set the display mask and edit mask property to D0 to use round numbers. Then, remove the decimal part in the increment and maximum property. The input range for number of room will start from 1 to 10. To set the range, set the minimum property to 1. After that, add a field label for special request. Then, Set the header width. Now, replace the UX text box with UX stack panel that will contain two UX radio buttons. Next, set the height to auto. Then, set the orientation to vertical. After that, insert two UX radio button instances. Then, set the content to smoking and non-smoking. Use another field label to maintain the position of the button that will be added. Lastly, add UX button. Then, set the content property to book now. Finally, set main page as the startup page. Build and run the project. You have successfully created the layout. The next step is creating the models. Now, create a new model class that inherits from model base class, named room type model.
After that, create a constructor for room type class. Next, create the properties. A property can be created automatically, including the setter and getter, using Propful code snippet. Just type Propful, then press Tab. Now, create the image property. Change the type to string, and change the property name, to image. In the setter, add on property changed method, to notify the related model and view model, if the value of image property is changed. Image property is used as the image path of the room type. Perform the same step for the second property, with string type called name. Then, create another constructor of room type. Add two parameters, image and name. After that, set the value of image and name property, with the parameters value. Next, create another model class that inherits from model base class, named Hotel Reservation Model. After that, create the constructor of Hotel Reservation class. Use Propful code to quickly add guest name property. Then, Change the property name to guest name. After that, add the on property changed method. Perform the same steps to create another properties. Email, phone, and room type with string type. Number of room with integer type. Special request with boolean type. Date from and date to with date time type. Next, add images folder that will contain all images used in the application. In the next series of the video tutorial, you will learn how to create the view model and bind them through the controls. To view the video, please visit our support website at intersoftpt.com support.